Hey Capricorn, this read is for you guys. Let's go ahead and see what Mother Universe has in store for you guys today. Alrighty. So Universe, what do you got for Capricorn today? Do you have some messages? Some guidance? Some insight? Maybe some warnings or some affirmations? Oh, and I got everybody's wanting to jump out of my hands here. And I start, these guys are falling out. So let's see what we got going on. So I have Destiny, The Waiting Game, Discontent and Boredom, Rejoice in Celebration, and the Authority card. Mm. I feel like we're going to be talking about a life change here. Taking back control of our life, taking back uh, control of our, of our destiny. And changing things around so that we're getting that that rejoice and celebration that fulfillment um, those things that we've always wanted working our way towards that goal instead of settling for where we're sitting at right now I have partnerships and alliances heartache and loss victory and success choose wisely and solitude okay I'm also sensing a breakup but what I'm sensing is that the breakup um, is the catalyst for this change like this is the thing that opened your eyes and made you take a second look at life and be like this is just not this is just not where I want to be um, I feel like you know where you want to be you know what you want your life to look like um, I think choose wisely is is representing um choosing your path to get to there to get to what you want i have ace of pentacles it represents new beginnings a lot of times it speaks to finance and because i feel like this is I feel like this is like a life change so i feel like it definitely does speak to finance it speaks to career because i think you're making a lot of overall changes in your life um i have the seven of wands to me the seven of wands is also tying into that that authority card, that destiny card, that taking back control of your life, um, it sometimes represents standing up for your ideals. So I feel like, I feel like it, it's speaking to the ideals, it's speaking to what you want, um, and going out and getting it. Um, I have the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles uh, can represent an even balance, a balance of give and take in life. Um, Feel like it speaks to that here I feel more like it speaks to a generosity um, and an abundance and and your desire for this because I feel like this is also um, what you're looking for in life you're looking to be in a place um, where you have that abundance enough to be generous with others I have the fool card uh, the fool card can represent taking a leap of faith and also looking at things in a new light um, I definitely think that this this heartbreak this breakup this loss uh, did cause you to look at things in a new light I feel like the fool card speaks to that um, I also feel like he's talking about choosing your path uh, once you've chosen it uh, not hesitating just going for it so I also have the wheel of fortune card here and the wheel of fortune card represents uh, your fortunes changing for the better I have the five of pentacles here the five of pentacles can represent going through a rough time financially uh, and I got it next to the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles is sometimes called the miser card and he speaks of penny pinching um, I feel like that's what you've had to do I feel like that's another part of why you've had enough of living this way and why you want better and why you've decided um, to make the change to go for better I have the hanging man here. Um, I have him next to the six of wands. The six of wands represents triumph over challenges. 
And I feel like the hanging man ties into this in that you are completely capable of getting what you want in life. The only thing that could possibly hold you back is you. And I don't know if it's it's fear or doubt or other insecurities, um, but you would be the only thing standing in your own way because I feel like whatever this is that you wanna go for, this goal, this career goal or whatever, I feel like you're completely equipped to do it. Uh, you are more than capable and competent of doing this. Um, the only thing would be your, your insecurities maybe keeping you from going for that opportunity. So I do have the sun card. The sun card can represent uh, positive things manifesting for you in your life. To me, it's a good omen. I go on top of the page of swords and I just get, I'll tell you the vibe that I get off of the page of swords, um, that there's a child involved. I don't know how old they are. I don't think they're, they're a baby baby. Um, but I feel like you do have, you do have a child as well. And to me, I feel like this change, um, this change will improve this child's life too. So I feel like you might be having some or she might be having some difficulties right now, maybe acting out. I've got the King of Cups. Um, I feel like it's speaking to a father figure in the child's life. And I don't know if they're missing from the picture, but I feel like uh, Tarot's going to talk more about um, their role in things. Uh, That's just the words that I get um, when I see when I see the King of Cups father. I feel like it's causing emotional distress um, with the kid is contributing uh, to some of the issues. And I don't know if it also has to do with this breakup or if this is something different. Um, if maybe the, the King of Cups was left behind a while ago. Because I don't feel the connection in the cards. Um, but I feel like you being able to move on, uh, you being able to build a new life, um, build that financial success, build the life that you want. I think uh, the Sun card ties in uh, with this page and that you're going to see a difference in your child as well because you're going to change your your personality, your confidence, all of that's going to change. And I feel like it's going to trickle down to your young one as well. And, and you're going to start to see a turnaround in them. I have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups to me represents a new journey forward and leaving, leaving the past behind, leaving hurts behind, um, moving on. And I think that's what you're going to be doing. This is going to be a brand new life. Um, and I have the Knight of Cups. To me, the Knight of Cups is representing um, emotional growth and an emotional win. I feel like it's for the family. So it's not just for you personally. I feel like um, your child will benefit from it as well because I have it next to the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups represents abundance in the home life. So I feel like it's just going to change the entire flow and the entire attitude of the household as well. Yeah, I got the Ten of Swords um, on top of that King of Cups. So the Ten of Swords tends to represent disappointing endings, but ones that were beneficial for you in the long run. So even though they suck, um, they actually act as a catalyst uh, to push you in the direction um, that the universe feels that you need to be going and that will benefit you in the long run. I have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can represent feeling trapped or confused, uh, having trouble finding clarity in a situation. Um, I feel like it's also talking about choosing this path and trying to figure out how you're going to get to what you want in life. Um, I have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles represents something you've been working towards for a long time, finally coming to fruition. Um, 
I think it's speaking to this life, this new life, this goal that you have, uh, what you want it to look like and where you want to get to. I think that's the thing that's going to come to fruition. I feel like you've wanted it for a long time. Um, and now you finally, you're finally going to go out and get it. Um, and the universe is, has pushed you in that direction um, using some some crappy stuff, but but it's definitely taking you where you need to go. I feel like you're going to have abundance and happiness and inner peace uh, in your life and in your household. And then I have the King of Pentacles, and I got the King of Pentacles on, on top of the Ten of Cups. And I feel like this is you. This is your future you. This is where you're going to wind up um, very happy, very confident, very capable, um, financial, very, very comfortable financially. I got the five of wands and I got it next to, I got it next to the lover's card. So I feel like I feel like it's speaking to to this relationship that caused the heartbreak. I feel like it's speaking to that King of Cups. I feel like it's might even be speaking to others. Um, and that sometimes these relationships are bringing conflict and chaos into your life. For whatever reason, they just haven't been healthy for you. Um, I don't feel like there's been a whole lot of time in between them. So I feel like it, it's been like a back to back and it's just always, always sort of fighting and bickering and um, just not, not a healthy situation and not beneficial to you. Um, so I feel like that, that solitude card is tying in with this queen of swords and this taking time for yourself and being true to yourself and doing for you. So not focusing on finding somebody else to join you at this moment and just focusing on you and your needs and your life and your happiness and your household. I also have the temperance card and the temperance card can represent a balance between emotion and logic as well. And I feel like that's speaking, um, that's speaking to the situation um, and looking at things from a different perspective, a less emotional perspective um, and being able to, to just take that time for yourself. Uh, to get everything sorted out, to get yourself where you want to be before you start with any of this again. Because I think it'll take you to a whole new place personally. Um, a place in which you, I feel like you'll attract a better partner. And it'll give you a much higher chance of success and happiness. I feel like you're moving too. Here I got the Knight of Wands. I just see moving because I think this is a whole new life all together and then I got the king of swords so I got a queen and a king here so I feel like that's definitely what the cards are speaking to um, the eight of pentacles sort of learning your lessons from the past learning to to look after yourself to do what's right for you um, to build your life first and learning these life lessons I feel like that is going to give you all the tools that you need to be in a place that when this King of Swords comes along, this this match of yours, you're going to be able to make a move on that. And and I feel like, like I said, you're going to have a much higher chance of success because you're going to be in a completely different mindset. two of wands here I feel like it ties into the nine of wands the nine of wands represent working towards a goal over time and I feel like it's going to be speaking this little line here is going to be speaking to to the career aspect of this change in your life because uh, I have the two of wands and the two of wands represents choosing a path I feel like it's going to be choosing a path towards this goal to work towards this goal to go out and seek this opportunity uh, that you've been looking for 
Um, and then the Page of Pentacles represents good news coming your way. So sometimes of a financial or academic nature, I feel like it's speaking to the career. I feel like as you make this move in your life, as you do these changes, as you actively look for this career that you want, I feel like that opportunity is going to come your way right away. I feel like it's going to be easy. And that's, and that's the universe's way of telling you you're headed in the right direction. Alrighty guys, that's what this read said to me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to comment because I love hearing from you guys. Take care.